गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू टॉपिक इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्ट्स सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्ट्स आई हैव सेंड यू द सर्टेन रूल्स अबाउट इंटीग्रेशन बाय पार्ट्स ओके प्लीज गो थ्रू दिस ऑल रूल्स आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग इन बिटवीन द प्रॉब्लम्स those rules integration of u into v integration of product of two functions u into integration of v dx minus d by dx of u integration v dx the whole dx now in differentiation what happens that in the product functions differentiation in the differentiation of the product of functions we can take any function as the first function the second function but in case of integration it is not like that it is depending upon the rules so that's why i am telling before solving the problems of integration by parts you must go through the rules of integration by parts which function you have to take the first one and which function you have to take the second one so here in the first integration of x sin x dx we know the standard integration of sin x is also we know and x integration also we know we know both x and sin x functions integration on a polynomial so we will take that function as the first function whose differentiation successive differentiation vanishes means becomes zero if i am going to differentiate sin x again and again sin x cos x cos x minus sin x then sin x differentiation minus cos x it will never become zero but here if i take x d by dx of x is 1 d by dx of 1 is zero so in this case i have to take x as the first function do function diya hai dono function mein hame x aur sin x ka standard integration malum hai jis question mein dono functions ka standard integration malum ho us function mein उस इंटीग्रेशन फंक्शन में उस फंक्शन को फर्स्ट फंक्शन लेंगे जिसका सक्सेसिव डिफरेंशिएशन जीरो हो जाए एक बार डिफरेंशिएट किए वन आया एक्स का सेकंड बार डिफरेंशिएट करेंगे तो जीरो आ जाएगा सो वी हैव टू टेक एक्स एज द फर्स्ट फंक्शन सो दिस विल बी आवर यू फर्स्ट फंक्शन एंड दिस विल बी आवर वी एक्स इंटीग्रेशन वी साइन एक्स dx minus d by dx of u x integration sin x dx the whole dx x integration of sin x minus cos x minus d by dx of x 1 integration of sin x minus cos x first we integrate this and now we are left out with this dx so minus x cos x plus integration cos x dx minus x cos x plus integration of cos x is sin x and finally integration constant you put in there okay so first time i have explained दो फंक्शन दिया है अगर दोनों फंक्शन में स्टैंडर्ड इंटीग्रेशन मालूम है तो उस फंक्शन को फर्स्ट फंक्शन लेंगे जिसका कि सक्सेसिव डिफरेंशिएशन जीरो हो जाए ओके सो एक्स वी हैव टेकन यू फर्स्ट फंक्शन एंड साइन एक्स वी हैव टेकन वी एज द सेकंड फंक्शन एंड यू अप्लाई दिस फॉर्मूला एंड गेट द रिजल्ट Now question number three: Integration x square e to the power x. Here also, both the functions x square and e to the power x integration standard integration is known to us. But as we do the successive differentiation of x square, two x, two, and then zero, the successive differentiation of x square vanishes out. So therefore, we are going to take x square as the first function. Same formula. x square integration e to the power x d by dx of x square integration e to the power x dx 
x square into the power x integration into power x minus d by dx of x square that is 2x 2 I have taken it out and integration of e to the power x e to the power x dx again here x e to the power x integration I have to do integration by parts by taking here x again here as the first function and e to the power x as, as the second function so x square e to the power x minus 2 we use big bracket and again the same formula you apply it here x integration e to the power x dx minus d by dx of x integration e to the power x dx x square e to the power x now integration of e to the power x will be e to the power x when we open the bracket minus 2 x e to the power x minus e to the minus plus 2 d by dx of x is 1 integration of e to the power x is e to the power x but this integration again we have to do it so x square e to the power x minus 2 x e to the power x plus 2 e to the power x plus integration constant now let's come to the question number 5 integration of x log 2x dx here first function suppose x and second function two functions are there log 2x so out of these two which one will be the first function which one will be the second function the standard integration of x is known to us but the standard integration of log 2x is not known so the standard integration the function whose standard integration is not known to us will be taken as the log first function as the successive differentiation of x vanish out but the second function which is given to it is log 2x and its standard integration is not known to us that's why out of these two functions log 2x will be taken as the first function so this is the second rule so first function integration again the same formula x dx d by dx of log 2x x dx x square by 2 first we write on x square by 2 log 2x minus d by dx of log 2x if we take 2x is equals to t d by dt of log t 1 by t and dt by dx that is d by dx of 2x will be 2 integration of x dx will be x square by 2 2 and 2 cancel out x and x cancel out we are left out with x by 2 in the very next step again we will integrate with respect to x x square by 2 log 2x minus x square by 2 so it will become x square by 4 plus integration constant Now listen here carefully both the questions. Question number 7 x sin inverse x dx. Now the third. If we are having here two functions whose standard integration of the sin inverse x function is not known to us. So sin inverse x will be taken as the first function even though x successive differentiation is 0. So sin was x, x dx, d by dx, sin was x, x dx. Use this formula. x square by 2 sin was x minus 1 by 2 d by dx of sin was x 1 by under root 1 minus x square x integration x square upon 2 dx. x square sin was x minus 1 by 2. Now here it is a adding minus 1 and plus 1 both the same we can split them and we can break it in separate ok x square sin inverse x plus 1 why I made 1 by 2 because this I can't change it to x square minus 1 because there is a square root sign but this x square minus 1 can be written as 1 minus x square minus of 1 minus x square that's why that minus become with this minus plus so 1 minus x square upon under root 1 minus x square now the division is possible and x upon root x will be root x so 1 minus x square upon under root 1 minus x square will be equal to under root 1 minus x square dx and minus into this plus minus 1 upon 2 dx upon under root 1 minus x square x square by 2 sin inverse x plus 1 by 2 integration under root 1 minus x square dx minus 1 by 2 sin inverse of x integration of dx upon under root 1 minus x square now 
रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मूला अर्लियर ऑल्सो आई टोल्ड दैट यू हैव टू स्टडी द फॉर्मूला एवरीवेयर हियर आई एम राइटिंग डाउन इन शॉर्ट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ रूट ओवर ए स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स इक्वल टू वन बाई टू एक्स अंडर रूट ए स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन बाई टू ए स्क्वायर इंटू साइन इनवर्स ऑफ एक्स बाई ए दिस फॉर्मूला इज एप्लीकेबल हियर अंडर रूट ए की वैल्यू वन और एक्स की वैल्यू एक्स सो वन बाई टू x a square one square minus x square plus one by two a square a is one one square sine inverse of x one yes sine inverse of x one one and after that you just simplify it you will get the result remember this how I have converted it okay and the formula of integration of Under root one minus x square with the help of this formula integration under root a square minus x square dx is given by one by two x under root a square minus x square plus one by two a square sine inverse of x by a. Now let's come to the question number ten. Integration of sine inverse x the whole square dx. Now here there is a only single function. We can't write sine inverse x into sine inverse x. Sine inverse x, the whole square. There is a single function. When there is a single function, and the standard integration and also not known to us. So what we will do? We will multiply with unity to make it as a product of two functions. Sine inverse x whole square into one lenge or We never take one as first function because d by dx of one will become zero. So one will be always taken as the second function, and this inverse trigonometric function will be taken as the first function. So second function will be one, and first function will be sine inverse x. So sine inverse x square integration one dx d by dx of sine inverse x square integration one dx with the help of this formula. So here. Our u is this and v is one. So integration of one x sine inverse x the whole square minus d by dx of sine inverse x the whole square. So here we will take sine inverse x equals to t t square. So two t and dt by dx that is d by dx of sine inverse x will be under root one minus x square. So differentiation of d by dx of sine inverse of x square will be. Two sine inverse x upon under root one minus x square, and integration of one dx is x, and this dx. Now, sine inverse x differentiation we know that it is equal to under root one minus x square. So here I have taken let sine inverse x equals to t. Its differentiation one upon under root one minus x square dx will become dt. As sine inverse x is equal to t, so x will be equal to sine t. Because I have to substitute the value of x here. Every variable must be now here converted to a t function variable. So x is sine t that I have written. One upon under root one minus x by dx dt. One upon under root one minus x by dx equal to dt. And sine inverse x is t. And these two I have taken out of the integration. So this complete function now with the help of this. It's converted into a t sine t dt. Now we have to integrate these two functions, product functions, with respect to t. Now here t will be taken as the first function. So t directly I am doing here. In, and integration of sine t is minus cos t minus d by dt of first function integration sine t dt and dt. X sine inverse x the whole square. This we open the bracket minus two minus plus two t cos t plus minus two minus plus two integration d by dt of t is one integration of sine t is minus cos t. In the very next step, it changes to minus and integration of cos t is sine t plus c. 
x sin inverse x and now what will be the value for t? t is here our sin inverse of x so I substituted here 2 sin inverse of x cos t if, x, if sin t is equal to x then cos t will be equal to under root 1 minus sin square t that is under root 1 minus sin square 1 minus x square so 2 sin inverse x t is sin inverse x and cos t will be under root 1 minus x square and minus 2 sin and t is our sin inverse of x by self adjusting property of inverse trigonometric function sin of sin inverse of x will become equal to x plus c be careful to each and every step practice a lot there is a use of differentiation there is a use of inverse trigonometric functions there is a use of last 10 basic concepts of trigonometry. So be careful while solving these questions. Okay? And by heart, all the formulas thoroughly. Question number 15. Integration x square plus 1 into log x. First we'll open the bracket x square log x and log x into 1 log x dx. As log x standard integration is not known to us, so we will take log x as the first function u and x square as the second function v. So integration by parts, log x integration x square dx, integration d by dx of log x, integration x square dx plus log x. It is a single function whose standard integration is not known to us. Therefore, we will take into 1 and 1 will be taken as the second function and u log x will be taken as the first function. So, x cube by 3 log x d by dx of log x 1 by x x square dx x cube by 3 x and x cancel x square by 3 and x log x this will become plus log x integration of 1 is x integration of d by dx of log x integration 1 dx dx x cube log x minus 1 by 3 x square dx plus x log x and d by dx of log x 1 by x integration of 1 x x and x cancel out so x cube by 3 log x minus x square dx integration will be x cube by 3 so it will become 1 by 9 x cube plus x log x minus x plus c so always remember the rules which are applicable in taking the first function and the second function in integration by parts okay so today i have discussed up to question number 15 whatever the questions are not discussed from 1 to 15, those questions you have to solve as a homework. And the next half of the exercise I will discuss in my next video. Thank you.